So what's up you beautiful, beautiful people, hope you're all doing great, hope you're all doing well. Uh, this is one of the videos that I've done before but I'm doing it again, you know. Uh, anyway, today we're talking about the new Intel Coffee Lake lineup and the new H310, B360, H370, Q370 boards. First up, let's talk about the boards. Finally, you're getting a budget option. Now Intel is gonna compete in the budget market, you know. You will build a lot of budget gaming PCs are centered around the Intel Coffee Lake CPUs. I mean, they provide really great price per performance. But but they didn't provide the best uh, price per performance when you compared it to AMD back then because you had to get a Z370 board but now the budget boards are here and they provide a great bank for the buck. Uh, the best one in my opinion are the B360 ones because they're around $70 I think. The MSI H310 ones are for around $70 also so that's uh, more expensive than it used to be. I mean when you compare it to the H110 back then the H110 was for around like $50. It's kind of overpriced, but you know, it pay like 60 to 70 dollars cheaper right now And that's a huge jump for a budget gamer You can go from a GDX 1050 to a GDX 1060 with that Delta, you know And one of the interesting pros for these chipset aside from the huge bank for buck That they provide a lot of USB type C It's according to the manufacturer of course But for example, the H310 board supports up to, I believe, 4 USB type C ports or maybe 6 And the B360 60 boards supports all the way up to 6 USB type C ports so that's a lot of USB type C ports uh, you know manufacturers will get full use of that but I guess it's not a problem anymore I mean USB type C is more available than it used to be like two years ago next up we're gonna be talking about the lineup itself and it doesn't make a lot of sense to me they want to give you some options you know and they want to show you that they are releasing newer CPUs just like AMD is doing so that's like a marketing um, strategy because when you look, you look at the Celeron CPUs, they are around $40, $50, they're just dual core CPUs. And my favorite CPU of the bunch is the Pentium Gold D5400, which is a dual core quad threaded CPU. Uh, clocked at around 3.7 GHz, it can boost, I believe, all the way up to 4.0 GHz. And it's for around $64. Then you look at the other Pentium Gold CPUs, I believe one of them is overclockable, I don't know about that. But they don't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, maybe we'll see some performance differences, but I don't think so these are just like clock rates differences then we get to the i3 lineup and you'd find the intel core i3 8300 which is i believe like 20 dollars more expensive than the i3 8100 i don't know why would you pay this delta for lower clocks again and you might want to go for like the highest end cpu in the like family you want i mean you want to get the biggest and the baddest i3 there is the i3 8300 i mean intel is all about giving you options as i said before and then you look at the i5s you find the i5 8600 and the i5 8500 with some i mean clocks delta from the spec sheets and there's still six core cpu then you look at the low tdp variants and you look at the insane i7 8700t which is a six cores 12 thread cpu it can boost all the way up to 4.0 gigahertz with 35 watt tdp so that's insane for the mini or the ultimate mini ipc users i mean those ones who build like a PC at the size of your phone for example I mean there are extreme mini ITX PCs I will leave a link down below to one of my favorite mini ITX PCs that I believe some of you are able to do that so yeah imagine the things you can do with 12 threaded CPU on a really small PC at the size of your like old phone for example you know so yeah that's some great interesting news from Intel in my opinion two CPUs that I'm excited for are the Intel Pentium Gold G5400 which which provides really great price per performance even though it's a dual core quad threaded cpu dual cores are there right now but this has a strong ipc a coffee lake grade ipc so i think it will do fine in some gaming results and also the low tdp variant seems like a good for the users who want like an hd pc those really really small pcs i like the way it's built so that's it for today's video guys if you like that video press on that like button if you didn't like that video press on that dislike button if there's any information i missed leave it down in the comments below any opinion leave it down i'd love to hear you thank you for watching check out my other content as i said i made this video before so if you hated that video check out my other content that i have done it once i'm sorry if this is like a type of a gameplay and a voiceover over it you know voiceover over it. what damn i suck at english anyway thank you for watching peace i love you subscribe peace again peace